Hello everyone, welcome back to Journey to Wisdom and Wealth. My name is Tara, if you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me. If you're not new here, you know you're already part of the what? Grateful gang, 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 grateful gang, 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 grateful gang, 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 grateful gang, 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 gang. And if you're not a part of the Grateful Gang, we'd love to have you over here. Um, over here, I do digital budget. We reconcile credit cards. We do paycheck by paycheck to paycheck budgets. Um, we do monthly budgets. We do <laughs> tracking expenses. We do everything on Google Sheets. I'm a single budgeter, single female right here. So if any of that interests you, hit the subscribe button. Today's video, we're going to be closing out our paycheck number one of July. So let's get right into that, okay? Up or challenge YouTube time. It's YouTube time. Hey, it's YouTube time. Okay, let me move my face. All right, so this is our current budget here. Um, with all of our expenses and expenses, bills, savings, and debit. So the way that this budget is set up is we're working from June 30th to the thir July 13th paycheck. I am a bi-weekly budgeter. So this was for the last two weeks. We received $14,23.30. We saved six ten, dollars and income spent so far, six eighty twenty six. dollars So now I'm going to go through my bank statements as we normally do, and we're going to make sure we have everything logged. So I fill everything in the log, and it'll automatically fill in the first page. Your girl is learning. <laughs> Oh, um, we'll see that. What is this for? Cash envelope money was put aside, and that was gas, grocery, self care allowance. That was that three twenty. Sorry, that three twenty that we see here. We had four cents of interest, which I think I was just able to write in, and then fifteen dollars I sent for my mom's birthday gift. That's allocated right there, $5 for, I don't know what, used on used on credit card. What'd I do? Okay, so I sent $5 over to my, I put in expensive, cause that's what I spent, that's what I spent on my, my part of the gift, plus my outside of the gift card money for my boss. And then $14.65, 14, what? 248.65 was for car insurance, which is showing right there. 101.41, let's make sure that's in there too. Oh, ooh, 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 I don't see it. So was that on the paycheck? Oh, that wasn't on the paycheck. That was on the previous paycheck we had paid. Wait a minute, hold on, let me not lie to you. Let's go to the bills. 101.41 is there for the cell phone. Did y'all see me log it? cell phone right there in my face, in my face. So we'll saw, slow down. So I don't think we logged the Navy Federal yet. So the Navy Federal dollar did not get logged. If it was logged, it would have been in the actual. So let's go ahead and log Navy Federal. And next time I'm, a, I'm probably gonna like mark off so we know exactly where we were. And so Navy Federal says it came out on the 3rd of July. So we're July 3rd, we have $1. And that's coming from, I think that's under savings. And I think that's under Navy Federal. Yep. I don't know why I do that. We don't need to go over there. Okay, so the next thing is $50 to the Discover. So that was on the third as well. And that was $50. And that is going to be part of debt. And that's the Discover credit card. And then the next thing is $15 to my coworker on the third. That is the portion that I had allocated $20 to this, but I ended up just having to send $15 for lunch. So this I think was under expenses and boss's B-Day lunch. Hmm. B-Day lunch. <laughs> And then we have $63 and six, this went in and out. Basically, this is nowhere on here. What ended up happening was I took money out for to pay for lawn care and I still have $20 in my wallet that I haven't used, but it came out of Humble Home. So I took the money out and then I put the money back in from the Humble Home. So I'm not even going to allocate for that. 
um, and seventeen thirteen. All of these right here were to pay the credit card. I'm sure. Oh no, yeah, Granny's groceries to pay. The, these were all charges that were on the credit card that went in, and here is the in and out of that. So I mean, I guess. But that got logged elsewhere. So since it's an in and an out, I'm not going to worry about it. Should I worry about it? Hold on a second. Thanks for holding. So you guys know this is new to me. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to add a category for transfers under savings. Because if I add it under savings, I think it will be an addition instead of a subtraction. So where it, oh, well, there's something under transfers here for income. Transfers already in here. Okay, so let me put in, so the total of all of these right here, and in case you don't believe me, because I'm sure you watched if you're new here, you didn't watch it, but I did this with you guys. 63 plus, not 63, child, no. 17, 13 plus 22 plus 41, 31 plus 27, 32 plus 1396 is 121, 72. So there were transfers from multiple different accounts that that's how I pay my credit card. I swipe on the card and then I take it out of the appropriate account, transfer it in and then pay it. So that's the in and that's the out. So I do want to show that. So let's see how I would log that. I'm going to say that on the 12th, I added 121.72 and that would be under income and whoa, income. And that would be under transfers. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Okay. And then hopefully this works out right. And then on today, the next day, is that today? Yes. The next day, today, um, 121.72 came out, but that would have been a part of debt to pay the Capital One credit card. Okay, let's pray that that works out properly. And then we have our paycheck. So, but that's not this check. So at the end of that, we had 6704. But you know what's missing? Where is my doggone freaking, what's it called? Never came out. The, the water bill. And I even got a receipt that said, we took your water bill payment out. Like, where is it though, fam? It'll probably like show up tomorrow. But it didn't come out this time. So what I'll do is we'll put, there's nothing that came out. So let's just make sure all of our things filled in. We have everything filled in here. That dollar filled itself in. Um, transfers has 121.72 in it. We have, um, I moved the buffer out because I wanted to actually see what was left over. And then water never came out, which it, I got a receipt saying that it was coming out today. It's supposed to come out on the 13th. So maybe it'll come out overnight and I'll see it tomorrow, but we'll just transfer it to the next check for now. And then we have everything here came out. Of course, this was a little bit under, but everything else pretty much matched up. And then Capital One payment came out and so did the Discover credit card extra payment come out. So everything seems to be filled in properly. And it says I have 6704 left over in my actual, which makes sense because we have 6704. So yay, that worked out. So technically this is a zero based budget. I don't want, I'm going to actually roll over. No, do we need to roll over? What we need to roll over actually is the water. So let's see, we have $67. You know what? I'm going to roll it all over. I was going to put some in the same, but I'm going to roll it all over, you guys, just because this next paycheck is a little wonky. So let's roll this over. 67, 67.04 is going to be our buffer. I'm going to go to the start and call it roll. buffer slash roll. Okay, and then we're going to go and log this 6704, which, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. We're going to leave the 6704 there, you guys. So 6704, and the reason why I'm not rolling it, you guys, is because I'm trying to try something. To me, it's a zero-based budget. I know they're 67, they're 67, but the next paycheck has come. And so I want to roll that into the next paycheck, but I'm going to see if I can use the same 
budget sheet for July to do the next paycheck and the following paycheck. So if this already is supposed to be sitting here, then it should work out. <laughs> we gonna see okay so that's it for this video we've already reconciled down to exactly what was left in the bank minus the check 6704 6704 i'm gonna call that at this point currently every the income is a little bit more but that's probably because this is including transfers savings was good bills are under right now but we're not done with this month debt we paid a little bit more than was expected um so that's good that's because we paid off our credit card breakdowns and 6704 left to spend but that's it for this budget you guys thanks so much for watching remember order to be great you have to be grateful i'm super duper grateful for you it's faith over fear this year you guys but not just this year but what forever forever ever forever ever a ever forever ever forever ever a you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll be right back at you with the next budget allocation. See you soon. Bye. Jazz hands.